Hey guys and girls, how's it going? I hope you guys are having a great week. So E3 has come and gone guys and uh, there's been so much news out this week. I have many other videos planned that I'm going to bring out in the sort of subsequent weeks but today I just wanted to weigh in a little bit on E3 and sort of give my opinions on it. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is who I thought actually had the best conference at E3 and I I am as surprised as everyone else with the answer to this, but I am going to say that I thought Ubisoft actually had the best conference at E3. I never thought I was going to say that. I never thought those words were going to come out of my mouth. So if we were to sort of order it in, in terms of the, the sort of major uh, producers, I'd probably put Bethesda at the bottom. Um, I thought their conference was shocking with the whole paid mods, uh, the lack of sort of games that they announced on there. The only interesting one was probably Wolfenstein 2 um, that they announced. Then I'd probably place Microsoft above that. Um, I thought, you know, it was interesting. They showed 42 games in total. They obviously showed off the Xbox One X, uh, which is a very impressive, powerful piece of kit. But I just didn't think they had enough exclusives again. Um, so, and I, I thought that the the um, focus wasn't, wasn't really where it should be. In third, I surprisingly, I'd probably place Sony. I thought their conference was okay they had a lot of really good sort of titles and good exclusives that they were showing but I don't know why it just seemed that Sony's conference this year just just seemed to be sort of going through the motions it was very sort of anticlimactic it was very it wasn't a lot of energy in it it was just very much like these are the games that we've got watch all these trailers, watch this gameplay, and that was pretty much it there wasn't much hype with with PlayStation this year um you know, and there were a lot of games missing. Last of Us 2 wasn't there. Final Fantasy VII Remake wasn't there. So I thought it was good. I thought it was an okay. Um, and Sony, you know, they're in a good, strong position. They have a lot of very good games coming out. But I thought their conference was was a little sort of, it didn't have all the bells and whistles and it didn't have like all, all the sort of amazing sort of shock moments that, that we got in the previous uh, sort of two conferences. In second place, surprisingly, I would put Nintendo. Um, and and Nintendo didn't have a conference this year. They just did the same sort of live stream, uh, direct video. And it was short, but it was short and sweet and to the point. And it showed off some very good games. And it had some very shocking announcements as well. Uh, announcing not just one uh, new Metro game, but actually two, which was fantastic. And Mario Odyssey looked absolutely amazing. Um, all sorts of things there. But actually, I think the developer that won for me was Ubisoft. And I was very very surprised by that because I have been very critical of Ubisoft in the last few years and I don't think they're the same company that they used to be and uh, they do cut a lot of corners and they do have a lot of sort of you know bullshit sort of um, policies in, in terms of microtransactions and season passes and that kind of thing but I would say that the conference this year was was the tone of the conference was absolutely fantastic for the first year we did not have Aisha Tyler um, presenting it usually it's her and she's a very good presenter you know she brings good humor to it she's quite charismatic but for the first time we didn't have her Instead, we had Eve uh, Goulimont, the co-founder and CEO of Ubisoft. And, you know, he's a nice guy. And I thought this, the start of the conference was great when they brought out Shigeru uh, Miyamoto uh, onto stage to talk about the new Mario and Rabbit's uh, Kingdom Battle, which looks fantastic it looks like so much fun but I loved I loved the little sort of little moment between uh, between the two of them when they were sort of back to back uh, with those sort of life-size um, weapons from the game and I just thought it was a really cute moment and there were lots of times like that through the conference that just had these like really genuine kind of kind of moments and I thought that was really great you know they when they were talking about um Mario and Rabbits. Uh, they sort of uh, were talking about the the game director, a uh, guy called uh, David um, Soliani, and it was great. You know, you just saw him well up, and you could tell how much the game meant to him, and how much uh, it meant to him working with sort of Miyamoto-san. And and I thought that was just really, really sweet, really amazing. And there were lots of moments like that. You know, in the conference, they pretty much I loved how they had the developers up and talking about the games. Um, um, it seemed very genuine. It seemed that everybody working at Ubisoft really love 
what they do and are passionate in what they do. And that really came across. And I thought that was fantastic. And let's, you know, let, we've got to talk about the games as well, because they had some really strong games um, in the conference as well. So obviously we started off with Mario and uh, and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, which is a sort of turn-based uh, kind of XCOM style game and looked really, really interesting. Um, and I love the humor of Rabbit's. And I think that's going to be uh, really great. Um you know, sort of mixing in with with the Mario universe. Uh, then we got to see a lot on Assassin's Creed Origins, and I'll admit that game looks very good. Um, it was great. You know, Ashraf Ismail, the game director, who came out and talked about it. You could tell. You know, he loved working on the Assassin's Creed game that he wanted to bring something really new and he wanted to breathe some life back into the franchise and it just looked really interesting and not only you know did we get a trailer but we got a very good sort of segment of gameplay which was sort of showing off all these new features in the game and the kind of RPG um, action elements to it and I thought that was just fabulous. Then of course we had the group the crew too not a game I'm personally interested in myself, but you know, still it was a good showing. The gameplay looked good. They had a fantastic trailer for the uh, South Park, the Fractured But Whole, um, which just was hilarious. So, so funny. I actually haven't played the original game, but I heard it was fabulous. So uh, that game pr is is going to be very funny and and probably a lot of fun to play they had um they announced uh, an actual pirates game called skull and bones uh, which everyone's been waiting for pretty much since black flag so it was really cool for them to announce that i don't know how i feel about it being sort of on on only online um sort of 5v5 i'm hoping that there'll be a really good story campaign in it and um, that you'll actually be able to sort of explore the world of pirates and and the alliances and enemies and rivalries that that you make and uh, I hope it will have that element because obviously I'm, I don't want uh, Skull and Bones to, to come across the same problems that For Honor has had in that it's losing a lot of its online uh, players and people are leaving that game now so um, you know it looks good um, but I, I don't want it just to be only online battles I think that's kind of boring for it they had, of course, they showed Just Dance 2018. They always show it, but I'm glad they didn't spend too much time on it this year, but it, it was probably the awkward moment in the conference for me uh, with the dancers, and it, it just got very strange. It was like Jamiroquai meets K-pop meets a dancing fluffy panda? <laughs> Like, it was just very weird. <laughs> it was very, very strange. Um, and then, of course, we got to see uh, Far Cry 5, which looks great, looks beautiful. Uh, really interesting setting in America. It looks really sinister. Of course, it looks crazy, like you can do anything. So that looked really good as well. But the big announcement that got me excited, and I'm pretty much sure everyone else excited is the announcement of Beyond Good and Evil 2 which is coming and we only saw a cinematic trailer I wish we could have seen some gameplay that would have been awesome but it, it again it just it looks fantastic so I thought Ubisoft's conference this year was was really well paced um was really you know heartfelt and um I just love the tone of it I love the tone of it I love seeing all the development team I even love the ending uh, where they brought like all of the the uh, game development Developers up on stage together um, and that sense of we all work for Ubisoft we're all we're a team whether it's like Ubisoft Montreal Ubisoft Toronto Ubisoft Singapore they all work together as a team to bring out great games and so yeah surprisingly enough I thought Ubisoft actually had the best conference this year at E3 so what I will say is well done Ubisoft good job um please don't make me regret <laughs> saying this or praising you, um, but I'm hopeful uh, this year that Ubisoft has got a lot of good games in the works and might be a good year for them, who knows. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a great week. Hope you have enjoyed E3 this week as well. Let me know who you think uh, had the best conference in the comments section below. You might completely disagree with me and that's absolutely fine, but tell me why in the comment section below. Who do you think had the best conference and why? And who do you think had the worst conference? and why. Alright guys and girls, we'll take care and as always, happy gaming. Mm -hmm.